Um, I'm going to say hi. Everyone's going to say hi back. Hi. 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 OK. Everybody wants to talk about the rape. Everybody wants to talk about how my sari was untied over and over and over again as gods and kings watched lustfully while my body became the tapestry of a failed lineage. Five hopeless sons lost in battle. Five lousy husbands lost at a game of dice. Just plain bad luck that I became the inspiration for every Tamil movie sex scene. The poster girl for polygamy. Prostitution is permiss permissible if a whore mimics my dressing. Sharing sex is acceptable if my name is uttered as an example. Just as my wrath is equated to a temperamental storm, I am remembered for all the wrong reasons. Dropity. Because you forget the core of my identity. Before I am goddess, queen, daughter-in-law, common wife, or the raft that saved the drowning Pandavas, I am what you refuse to acknowledge, a woman. But a woman is not a woman until something happens to her, and you want to know what happened to me. Choices. Dharma, karma, whatever you call it, it began with bad choices. In my past life, I was born a queen. Successful but single, I was destined to be an unmarried beauty. I prayed to Lord Shiva for a man of five elements. He had to be strong, skilled, handsome, honest, and knowledgeable. Shiva laughed. No single man could have all five qualities, he said. So he promised me five men in my next life, as if one was not enough for me to carry. Now, now, I'm not saying the other race is unnecessary. How can I deny the required essence of conception? I would be a vessel without purpose or direction. So I wanted a lifetime for him to, I waited a lifetime for him to arrive. And when he did, it was a competition of disappointment. Men came from east, west, north, and south, made a beeline for my hand, but my heart was set on one and my mind was set on another. Karna was my first love, but was of low birth. He was cast aside by my ego, which had been pierced by Arjuna's arrow, who took me home to his mother Kunti and shouted from the front door, Amma, look what I won in the archery competition. But she did not have the decency to step out of the kitchen. Whatever it is, share it with your brothers. And that is how I became the presence of polyandry, wife of the five Pandavas till they traded me as a prize with a prize for their fragile pride in a game of dice, where the ancient law dictates that as a wife of more than four, I am now public property. The fabric of my existence has been a comedy of errors. Like the pause in a mantra, I am a constant breath of questions. Tell me why has my strength been forsaken when I am obedient to an ignorant mother-in-law? When I have been faithful in love to love itself, why are we not talking about my fidelity to look in the other direction when my husbands were bored? Why aren't little girls thought of my loyalty to my best friend Krishna? In fact, I I could have saved the Mahabharata at least 50,000 shlokas if I had been queen. There would have been no war like Kurukshetra, no bloodshed but my own for the birth of a legacy. Many versions of my story has been written, told, made into plays and TV serials on VJ TV. Yet everyone is afraid to change my description from a weeping woman to a heroine as if we are trapped by the fundamental formula that some are meant to be great and some are meant to be happy, you can never be both. It is not the eternal law of the cosmos for our happiness to be measured by a companion or our pride decided by ancient laws we do not understand. So don't worship me on your knees, but make me a reflection of your past, present, to build your own future, and should you forget all that I have said, then stitch this into memory. The unclothing of a woman is the collapse of a civilization. So you should be thankful for my presence, reminding you never to identify a woman solely by one thing that happens to her, and remember, you will never see it coming when a woman happens to you. I don't do rappers. 
The last time I did, he was 14 and I was 16. I was 14 and he, sorry, 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 sorry. I don't do rappers. The last time I did, I was 14 and he was 16 going on 25 to life. Wore faded jeans and oversized navy blue Lacoste t-shirt and couldn't say hi. Instead, he went, yo, shorty, yeah, yeah, you. You cute girl, you cute. I blushed till the color red pierced through my brown canvas. My cheeks had not known any other words beside baby fat. Fat being the key word, but I didn't move cause Nancy Drew always played hard to get, if only for 30 seconds. So when he arrived at my table and waited for me to respond to his sup, I didn't. So he went to a vending machine, bought a can of Coke, placed it in front of me, peeled off the layers of his personality and said, hi. I'm Arnold. I see you carry a lot of books and all, and I think you're real cute. So, what's your name? For love, my first love, I traded my name for a title. They call me Arnold's girl, and I was the shape of his shadow, the silhouette of his persona that only appeared on small stages under dim spotlights. He told me inspiration came from a joint, so I learned to roll up, and we got high on the word. Though he was mostly high and I had all the words, I fixed him into his sentences. I gave him rhythm when he had no rhyme, propped him up straight so he could stand for all that he believed in. I didn't give him my heart, no. I gave him my spinal cord, which he shattered on August 30th, 2007, when the motorcycle did a cartwheel three times and landed on his pride and shattered every last cartilage that held together our existence. At the funeral, the pastor called him mischievous. His teacher called him a dropout. His mother called him a baby. His friends called him a musician that never made it. And I, I called him a rapper because no one understood that he was a poet first. And they tried to justify telling me, he ain't no rapper. Haven't you heard of Pac, Dre, Busta, or 50? And I said, now look, I know the gods of the word, like the word of God. He wasn't holy, but they say the good die young, and he's probably hanging out with Jesus right now. So I don't do rappers. That is W-R-A-P-P-E-R-S. I don't do rappers, labels, or titles. Cause when a man dies, he leaves nothing but a name and Arnold left nothing but a broken verse inside me. So I have no title and I have no rapper anymore. <laughs>